So um, I want to talk about my journey through PFP and I can call it a bundle of possibilities or um, as Clarina, where are you Clarina? As Clarina said, a whole lot of ifs. Um, you'll see it as, we, as I go along and talk. Thank you. So for me, I realized that being part of PFP was about a time to think. Where do I want to take my team at AIA? Do I know where I'm going to? You see, when I started out at AIA, it was, um, as Lance would know, because he was my first boss, my first chairman of the board, it was starting to clean up and, and fix something and make it go forward. And it, as, as I went forward, it was about growing the system. Okay. So when we were told that we are coming into PFP, um, I came from a background of feeling a bit isolated. I know we all have different problems in our schools. I found mine in Achenes was being, feeling alone. Um, I was trying to integrate myself and the school into the community. I was trying to build a team. And I wasn't sure what I was going to get out of PFP. Um, you can see that lady over there, Kuba. Through, through um, PFP, we understood that she wanted to lead us in a direction. And at that time, I wasn't sure, was she taking us straight or going to make us turn the corner? Was it a short right? Um, so I came from a background where we were trying to build up a Kaima Principles Forum uh, with people like Clarina, Willem, and who the, Romeo, Ruth. And uh, this was the baby of the brainchild of Michael October. And we shared that dream that maybe as principals together, we can be a support for each other, a support network, and do something to build up not only our schools by sharing information, by sharing resources, but building up the community. And we had a lot of stumbling blocks, uh, Clarina. Eh? We just couldn't get those meetings. We just couldn't get our AGMs going. And uh, with all due respect, Willem, it seems to be the women running um, the Kaima Principles Forum. And then along came PFP and my thinking was, we have to go to it? How is it going to be different? Is it going to be another talk shop? But what I found in PFP was it gave me a better sense of grounding in the district. And let me explain what I meant by that. I felt alone. I was an, running an English school in an Afrikaans community. I felt like we were the odd ones out and people didn't know what we were. And then as I shared with Mr. Kluter earlier on and with um, his predecessors and the Department of K in Kimberley, I felt like the stepchild within the Department of Education. Because as, even though we're a private school, in all the private schools I've run, I always worked with the department. And somehow here people would say, oh, but we don't know you. We don't know how to treat you. Um, we'll invite you to a meeting. And I was never invited. And it was like people were scared to handle us. We were like some monster. And uh, so I was scared to come into this group. But the nice thing about it, it was the same people that I was in the Kaima Principles Forum with. However, if I can just go back a, a bit, please. What I liked was being in PFP, I found I had a better sense of grounding in the district. Somehow we opened up. Somehow we engaged in a different way than when we were in the Principals Forum. I found a sense of professional community at last. You know when that little um, ugly duckling says, ha, ah, I found myself. Because suddenly the principals gelled. Suddenly we were talking and listening to each other. And more than that, we started sharing our concerns. We started asking for advice. I'm coming to the advice thing afterwards, but we did try to ask for advice. But then I thought, we've also got another type of support that I was trying to understand. There was a support base I did not know I could have, and that was the business partners. I didn't know what their role was going to be. I assumed that they were there to coach us and guide us and tell us how to run our schools. But I found they came in as partners and friends. 
they came in as listeners. And I found that when we engaged, sometimes they would talk about their problems and we'd talk about ours. And we actually became a community, a community of professionals. So PFP in 2018, those were the considerations I had. From our first meeting in Popeda, I was wondering if I understood what I was there for. But then the possibilities and my mindset then changed. As much as I was looking at, is this going to replace Kaima? What is a business partner? Who are these people? What will I get out of it? Something changed. I didn't need to say I could have been at school. We started building a thinking community of reflective practitioners. And I took that picture from the, picture, the photos that um, Kuba sent to us because that's a common snapshot in time of what happens when we are together. We think together. We reflect together. We advise each other. There's no money issues. We don't talk about who can give me money. I can't do this because I need money. It's about thinking around our problems, whether it's our financial problems, our academic problems, our staffing problems, and trying to find the creative thinking, the juices, letting those juices flow so that we can move ahead and find new possibilities. So it's not always about doing. It's about being in the moment with a group of people that we can laugh with and be ourselves with. You heard my colleagues talking about their partners. My partner was Mubarak. Um, it was with Mubarak that I started seeing the, the, the shifting balance in that he wasn't there to coach me and tell me what to do. Sometimes he also asked me for advice. So we were actually there for each other. And that was great. He was also the father of one of the learners at my school. And that, that I think brought the bonding together even better. But the glue was his wife. Because we used to have meetings at his house. And his wife's humor would always put out some delicious meal or snacks for us. I'm not saying the food was the thing, but <laughs> it was just so nice to be able to sit and chat and she would be in the background and when it was time to now just relax, she would come and sit with us and even she would share and contribute to the thinking discussions. I'm not so much in touch with uh, Mubarak now that he's gone back to India. I lost him to India. But I'm still in touch with Huma and she follows us on our Facebook page. So what have my learnings been of PFP? It has helped me. But can I do one thing, please, Kuba, if with the permission of certain people in this room, could I kindly ask Michael, Lance, where is, sorry? Crystal, Greg, please to just stand up. Please stand up. <laughs> I'd like to explain why I've asked you to stand up. I lost Mubarak, who was my partner, but I gained four brothers. I don't feel like you are my partners. I don't feel like you are the bosses at Black Mountain. I feel you are my brothers. When I need to share and run some ideas about what I want to do at the school, I ask you. When I have problems and I need to know how to solve it, you don't give me the answers per se. You help me to think it through. And then I can say, okay, yeah, I think I'll do it that way. Thank you for that. And I want to thank you for the brotherhood of um, Black Mountain and Abengoa. Thank you. The problems I face may sound a bit un different and unique to what my colleagues in um, Hofeda and on Siep Counts are facing. I think one of the things that I'm trying to relearn and PFP is helping me to do that through the reflective practice and the journaling, is to sharpen the sword. Uh, you know, Stephen Covey talks about sharpen the sword. Sometimes you work so hard, you put your nose to the grindstone, that your nose becomes blunt and you can't smell what you're doing. You can't smell the way to go. And um, so they've taught me to take time out to think, reflect on my work and on my actions. And I thank 
for that Cuba. Also, in the last year or so, and Karen is a colleague at school, as is Sharissa, I think in the last year my team has seen that we've gone to chopping wood. The management team in our school has been chopping wood and doing the teaching because we didn't have enough teachers. And I had lost my strategic focus. Reflecting and working with PFP has helped me to revisit my mission and implementation strategies. And with the SMT that I have, we've done a whole lot of workshopping in the last few weeks. And our idea is to get back to being the strategic leaders of our school next year and putting us back on track so that the children will benefit more from us than what they have in the last two years. Um, so this is what I, I think for me epitomizes PFP. Some days you will be like the light for others and some days you will need some light from them. As long as there is light, there is hope and there is a way. So we need to get our inspiration, relax, share and support every time we come together with each other and we learn to make meaningful connections. So yeah, I've got two pictures of things that have happened since being in PFP. In the news picture in the left, you'll see Ansel Coulson. She's a well-known writer in South Africa. Ansel came to one of our meetings and we engaged with her. And within, what was it, three weeks of meeting her, Kuba? She came to our school and she did a creative writer's workshop first with our primary school children and somebody here is smiling because he was part of the secondary school writers workshop and uh, I think we benefited from that in our English lessons and that was coming from just participating in PFP and then on the right hand side is a picture of Clarina's hall at uh, Busmanland. As a result of talking together with heads we were able through PFP to finally answer Willem's promise, uh, the promise we made to Willem. For three years Willem had been saying in Kaima Head's meetings, I need help. I need help with my teachers for special needs development because we are struggling with our children and we don't know where to turn to. And then with PFP we raised it in the meetings and Christo offered to support us to get something together. All the schools were keen. We contacted um, the schools through the principals and teachers from every school came forward and participated in that special needs workshop at Busmanland. So you've got teachers from Witbank, uh, Pela, Busmanland, AI, um, AIA, uh, Sonstralki, uh, Larsul, Hoerskul, Achnes. It was one of the best things I have seen of schools working together to build capacity in our school without begging for money, without relying on somebody to do it for us. We did it ourselves. And uh, we got friends out from England. All we had to do, they were coming home on holiday. They had masters in special needs education. And they offered to train us for free if we paid for their trip from Durban to um, Achenes and Busmanland and back. That's all they asked for. Their services were for free. And somebody else uh, gave us services for free. Between Louise and Cuba, they made us soup and they contributed to the meals to bring our costs down. Thank you very much for that, ladies. And Clarina, you took over and your kitchen was host to us to feed us in, during that time. So it was more a partnership of people working together to develop ourselves and our teachers. And since then, we've actually got an unofficial network, which I'm hoping to explore with Mr. Kluter going forward. Um, this network of teachers who are, we are going to be developing as just co-colleagues um, for the sake of our schools. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, as you can see, as the stories unfold, um, Danielle, I've got to go to your picture of the pot where PFP truly is the pot, holding the time, organizing, having a six-weekly rhythm on which we meet. Um, I have coaching sessions and triads when I am in these six-weekly uh, um, segments. And this is exactly what's happening. So it's something that you guys have always been dreaming of, you mm -hmm. and Willem and Clarina and mm -hmm. Ruth. And Michael mm -hmm. has this 
thing that he doesn't want to give up on a principles forum or the name isn't important, but it's just the togetherness where we are able to share, care, develop, grow, challenge, frustrate um, each other. Yeah, I mm, honor you. you. You are an extremely special human being. Thank you. Thank you.